so here you can see that uh, i have a vpc so inside vpc i have a two virtual machine see one is my application virtual machine another one is my database virtual machine okay so here i'm not going to create any virtual machine instead of virtual machine i will create a database so then i will connect okay and i'm going to deploy one wordpress application so if you want to launch this application mandatorily be required database connection if you don't have a database connection then it will not work okay so let me show you the demo for that first i have to create a virtual machine so we already created one virtual machine so that you can see over here and we already connected the virtual machine right right okay so next step we need to create a database i've been already created a database as well so that you can check uh, the database name is oss bangalore if you don't know so you can go through some previous videos over there okay so i'll go to my database then i will get my uh, endpoint link you can see that this is my endpoint link by using this link i can connect my database so now we created a virtual machine i created a database so now i need to deploy my application so for that you have to execute this script i'll show you that let me exit from the database okay let me clear okay so first i will first i will install apache then i will download wordpress then i will uh, extract wordpress then i'll copy here we already done this project but i will uh, i'll show you one second so it will only take around 2 to 3 minutes maximum i've been already created a user data so i will just execute the script over here so let me show you the user data over here first so here you can see that see first i'm going to install apache server sudo m install httpd so then i will start my apache server later i will install php so i will use my amazon linux extras uh, repository then i will download one file what is the file name latest dot zip so that is a wordpress file okay i will download this file into var ww html what is a p minus p capital p path minus p path okay i'm going to download this uh, file into this particular path okay next i'm going to extract the file because whatever the downloaded file that is zip right I need to extract the file. What is the command? Unzip. I need to unzip the file minus o. What is o? Overwritten. Then uh, so I will uh, unzip the file from this directory. What www.html latest dot zip. Right. And what is the d? Directory or destination, whatever. But directory minus d directory. So I will send this file into what www.html. Okay. So later I will copy all the file from so this latest uh, like that uh, directory to what www.html. Okay, so then I will restart my Apache. So let me just copy this first, then I will execute. Copy and paste. So it is installing Apache server. Okay, it is installing PHP now. Let's wait. You can see the Amazon core. PHP 8.1 it is installed okay now it is you can see the downloading my uh, wordpress and it is extracting the wordpress okay everything i already hard coded you only need to copy and paste it will work okay and if you don't know the concept please let me know i can repeat once again i can explain the code what i done over so now it is extracting the file from what www.html okay so let's wait Okay, so now you can see that successfully we created, right? So I'll get the public IP address of my virtual machine. So I'll go to any browser, then I'll paste over here. End. So you can see that WordPress setup. See, automatically it's created, right? So now we have to enter the database name and database username and password. Database host. That's it. Okay. So for that, I'll click on Let's go. but uh, here actually we cannot enter our database name and password that will not work so for that we have to go to previous page and please read this file what is it mean uh, sumaya so could you please interpret what is it what we have to do over here so from here from here you have to read ah ah 
Huh. See, which means see, WordPress already created one file wp config sample dot php. So we need to create one more file with the same content wp config dot php. Then we have to edit the file. Okay. So let me go to my virtual machine. I will show you the direct uh, file. So listen. So let me clear this. Okay. Is it visible or not? Visible, right? Okay. Let me go to CD. Then what? HTML. LS. So here you can see that I have a many files, right? So where is my WP config.php? Where is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, WP, uh, WP config sample.php. So they are instructing we have to create one more file WP config.php. Okay, so with the same content. Okay, for that, let me copy the file. I'll go to my uh, this WordPress site, then I'll just okay. back. Okay, let me copy this name WP config.php. Copy. I'll go to virtual machine. So next execute cat then wp config sample.php then greater than then you can specify the new name okay wp config.php end so that's got created a new file wp config.php so you'll be able to find the file over here wp config.php so now we'll open the file how to open the file okay how to edit the file nano, nano. i will open nano then wp config.php dot php end okay so beneath you can see that database name so we have to provide a database name then username then password then host name so i will uh, enter my database name what is the database we created over there no 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 database name that is rds name what is my database name i'll go to my uh, i'll go to my php my admin what is my database name ashik db and a new DB through GUI, right? I will select Ashik DB. So I will open Ashik DB, and you can see that as of now we don't have any tables over here, right? No data. So let me just uh, copy the Ashik DB name. I'll go to my GUI, then Ashik DB. So then come down. Then uh, what's the username? Username is admin. Admin. Then what's the password? Admin. Admin. admin fine. Admin admin okay fine okay so next what is the local host so we have to get the endpoint of rds so we already got a dns name right so that you have to copy i'll just remove this go to rds so go to connectivity and security this copy this oss bangalore link okay then paste over here paste okay successfully done i will save this file control o end control x uh, I'll go to my WordPress. Then I will hit on let's go. Yeah, completed. Then select installing now. So we have to provide a title name. I will give RDS demo website. So I'll provide a username as admin, password as admin. It's a new username and password. You can access your WordPress. That's what. So next, provide your confirm password then your email address so i'll provide a random email address then install wordpress that's it so let's see what happened password automatically password fine whatever it can be so now you can see that i successfully created so i'll get this public ap address so then i'll go to any other browser then paste end and now you can see that rds demo website we are able to access one demo website and you can access your admin page by the help of your username and password username is admin and password whatever the password you choose and that you can give away okay and this is my website okay and you can see the mind blown blog post philosophy and you can upload any videos images whatever you want documents and all okay and you can convert this website into e-commerce website or any uh, like uh, whatever you want according to the requirement okay so i'll go to my php my admin and this is my database right i will just click on ashik db and you will be able to find so there are a lot of data it's already imported from wordpress to database see you can see that uh, user comment link everything is there any doubt
any doubt so now we successfully connected uh, by using rds amazon rds if i go to rds so where is my rds or oh, this is my rds so i'll just click on rds or as let me action then delete so i'm going to delete my database listen delete me then next so once i start delete automatically the connection will be lost because my website is not able to access any data from database okay it's already started deleting i'll go to my uh, demo website i'll refresh so now we getting so it is already started right let's wait so we'll be get one error like uh, database connection i uh, lost it seems let's wait so what is the error we getting database connection error we getting because all data that is stored were rds only right so this web server is not able to access the rds that's what we getting error established in database connection same as you can see that if i go to my uh, php my admin i'll refresh and let's see what happen automatically it will log out because that database has been deleted already so let's wait so or else i can refresh end page you can see that automatically logged out right database has been deleted automatically that's what any doubt please let me know